an integral part of his station team, RAF Bryce Norton. A key player for the Royal Air Force and a solid and stalwart member of the UK Armed Forces. Mike Atkinson can also add international footballer to his name. I qualify through my mum, so my mum's full Belizean, uh, dad's English, uh, so I'm 50-50. Um, so I've got dual, um, dual nationality, um, which makes me eligible to play for Belize. So I used to be a pro before I joined the military at, at York City in League Two. Um, I got a little bit of an approach then from the team, but in transition from leaving football, joining the military, that sort of connection lost a bit of, we lost a bit of connection on that, on that front. But um, I was at RF Honington as a PTI and got called up to like a trial week uh, in December 17, um, which I like performed well at and, and did really well. And then January 18, got invited to the Central American Cup in Panama. So made my debut there against Costa Rica. Um, played a couple games, played against them, El Salvador, uh, Nicaragua and Honduras as well. Um, and sort of from that point on, sort of solidified my place in the team um, for the next upcoming uh, qualifiers, which would be like the Nations League, uh, CONCACAF Nations League, um, which I took part in the team 2018 and 2019 in that competition um, prior to COVID hitting. So we played like teams like Montserrat, um, Puerto Rico, Barbados, Bahamas, um, all lovely places, which is great. But um, yeah, so I think I'm on eight caps now. Um, this will be nine and ten, hopefully. Mike's selection means he'll travel out to Belize on the 12th of March and will have a few days training before two matches on March the 25th and March the 30th. Qatar are hosting the World Cup next year and although Belize have never qualified for the tournament, Mike is still excited to be involved at this stage. We've got Nicaragua, uh, Haiti, Turks and Caicos and St Lucia in our in our like league, we'll say. So there's games there that are definitely winnable. Um, and even if we didn't qualify, it's still going to put us in good stead for like other competitions. Um, it's probably just better just to be back playing as a team and starting to because we did have quite a few like older players who have now moved on and it's sort of the new players are coming through um, and it's sort of time to rebuild and sort of go through a process with that new team um, to hopefully take us in the next Nations League to eventually go to the Gold Cup in the States, which is probably our like sort of highest target. Um, but you never know with the World Cup. Mike's pride at playing for his country is reflected in the 100 or so family members who still live there and come to watch him play. Apart from the heat, he says there are a lot of similarities to playing in the UK, especially for UCAF. I think like you've obviously seen for UCAF and stuff, the intensity and, and stuff is really up there. Um, whereas for my game, I do have to adapt it slightly just because purely you're playing in like 30 degree heat, which again, is, is pretty difficult. Um, but as far as like methods of playing and stuff like that, obviously just following the manager's direction, it's a different formation that I play in Belize as I play in the UK. Um, so you just have to adapt to the position you've been told to play in. But the intensity is still there. UCAF's last outing was a historic Kentish Cup win in December 2019. And both the players and staff are itching to get back in action. Mike's been sure to keep in shape during lockdown. I think you sort of just to keep accountable for your own training uh, as, as best as you can with the, the sort of lockdown measures that are in place and try and just keep a level of fitness and try and stay sharp for whenever the sort of opportunity arises again, which hopefully it, well, it should do in the next couple of weeks. I've sort of played now for like a decent level for about nearly come on 10 years. So I have sort of know the sort of things I should be doing, like position like specific things um, but yeah the manager for Belize is constantly like whatsapping me and making sure I'm actually doing it and stuff like that but um, yeah he's sending out a few specifics to do but mostly just taking it upon myself to make sure that I'll, I'll be ready for it. It goes without saying that Mike has missed football as have his many teammates across all levels of the game but there is light at the end of the tunnel and this is one player who'll hit the ground running when military football gets underway again. Kath Brazier, Forces News.